Hello and welcome to the International Business Conversations channel. My name is Dr. Arena Goch and today I am going to be talking about the amazing tool that is called Microsoft Sway. It's an app. Some time ago I made a post on LinkedIn about how I used Microsoft Sway for teaching and I received some questions from people and comments and I realized that it would be good to actually demonstrate how you can create your Sway not just show this way itself, but also demonstrate how you can work with that in order to start the creative process. So let's get started. What you currently see on your screens is the sway that I shared on LinkedIn. So the link for this way is, is also directly underneath the video. What does this sway do? It illustrates the way you can put information together in order to display to different types of audiences. This particular example of Sway is, is a, something that I could use for teaching. It's not, it's not the exact Sway that I used for teaching, but it's more a demonstration. So what kind of things you can put inside of this way and how you can use it. The first thing that you notice is that I have a lot of graphics within this way. Majority of that graphics I do with Adobe Express and I use it a lot in my teaching and for, for personal purposes. I really like to visualize my ideas as I find that it makes everything a bit more vivid. However, you don't have to do it because Sway will, will be just great without it as well. And there is a lot of materials that you can upload to the Sway from online sources, I use it for illustration purposes, and I will show how to do it in just a couple of minutes. Then I have a text that represents what this way does, but of course you can use it in order to illustrate the purpose of the session, for instance. And then you have, that's how I designed it, then you have boxes of information that divide um, different sections. So here we start with Sway for educators and students and I have two visualizations, two infographics that this is one of them that talks about Sway for educators and I think that the first thing that I would suggest to pay attention to is that Sway is universal design for learning friendly, UDL friendly. What does it do? You can, first of all, it works on any device. If you open this presentation, if you click on the link and open this way on any of your devices, such as laptop or your, your computer, your mobile phone, your tablet, it will work absolutely fine. So you do not need to resize anything. You do not need to, to change anything within that way. It just works. And the second thing is that you can, you can export the sway into Microsoft Word or PDF format and share it as a document if that is required. And of course, it's a great alternative to PowerPoint and supports a variety of presentation styles. In terms of how it is good for students, majority of our presentations are done via the PowerPoint. However, why not use Sway if, if this is something that your module leader allows to do, or well, you can just ask, you can always ask if this is something that you can do. But again, it's a great alternative to PowerPoint. You will learn something new in terms of how you can present your ideas. It is easy to share. You can always export that into Microsoft Word if you need to share it via Turnitin. If you need to upload formally via Turnitin, you can always upload it as Microsoft Word document, it will it should satisfy the, the criteria of Turnitin. Another thing that I strongly encourage students to think about, you can use Microsoft Sway because it's a web page. You can use it to create your portfolio of creative artifacts. So there is a lot of things that you do during your degree and beyond, and maybe you would want to put them into one place. Why not using Sway? for that. You can also create your digital CV using Sway and hopefully this presentation would give you some ideas on how you can structure the web page in order to achieve what you want to achieve. I clicked on those images to, to make them bigger, but you can just scroll down and if you can see here we have another section 
that is called alternatives to sway. So the first alternative to sway is PowerPoint, of course, but there is also we we also have Adobe Express and you can click on the link here, but I have the link open. So I've made an alternative to my one of my lectures in Adobe Express. Adobe Express works very, to some extent, similarly to Microsoft Sway, but differently at the same time. Some may prefer Adobe Express rather than Sway, but I think that for the purpose of education, for the purpose of creating visually nice and appealing teaching materials, and using it for creation of your portfolios or CV, I would say that Microsoft Office Sway is better because it's also more uh, affordable. It is part of the Microsoft Office package and many of us will have it via our institutions while we may not have access to Adobe via our institutions. And of course, personally, we may have Microsoft of access to Microsoft Office. So, what I try to do in this way, I try to divide my activities for teaching, for the teaching on the block, weekly activities. So this is for the whole week. And I start this way of asking students to do something before the session. You can embed different links within that sway, but I removed the links for demonstration purposes. And then I would have big chunks of information for seminars. So what kind of activities we do during the seminars. In this particular example, so drivers of globalization, what I want students to do is to open that sway on their mobile phones or laptops, whatever they have during the seminar and follow the exercise. Read, look at the picture that I've made and then continue creating the concept map in accordance with the requirements. I would, of course, be there to to help them and work with them in terms of creating the final representation of their concept map. And then some of the examples of what students did. Those pictures I took after the seminar and I would I upload them into the sway at the end of the week and shared with students. I also put some library resources there, something that we discussed during the seminars and also students have access to those things. So one thing that I try to achieve is that if I recommend, let's say, a library resource, subject guide, for instance, for business management, then students would click on that subject guide during the uh, during our seminar and they would remember that they have that subject guide in their weekly sway. So they always can come back to that particular resource and they know where it is located. Another thing that we did, we looked at uh, different interactive games. So there was a Nike manufacturing map that we explored and I asked students to fill in the quiz after, after all. We also discussed the trade. We talked about containers and we talked about Maersk in particular. So there was some information provided by Maersk. I removed it for this demonstration. You can also embed videos into this way and those videos are going to be played in this way. So you do not need to open a, a new window unless you want to. And then you can ask students to do something else and they would be just scrolling this way for this particular seminar. And again, we have a picture of some to demonstrate that kind, what kind of work we've accomplished. I would also ask students to consider some questions, watch a video, play a game. The particular requirements of the game, I removed it from here, but they were there. Assessment support, weekly reflection practice. It depends on how you teach, what kind of module you teach. But for me, there are two seminars per week per student. So. The sway was designed in such a way that a student receives a whole thing in advance and they already know what kind of things they're going to do during the seminar one of the week and during the seminar two of the week. And you can then think about how to, how to edit and present information in your own way. But hopefully this demonstration already gives you some clues in terms of how you can design your own sway and how it can fit broader into 
what kind of creative presentations you can make um, in general. What I also wanted to do is to demonstrate how it actually works. The first thing that I would suggest is that I usually give viewers, those who view my sways, a right to change the layout. At the moment, it scrolls vertically, but you can also change the layout and the sway could be scrolled, infinitely scrolled horizontally, something like that. Every single element of the sway, the visual element, you can click on that and it will display the picture in full. For instance, if I click on this picture, you have a whole screen. This picture occupies, I, I made it in such a way that it will happen. Now, another version is, let's say we want to create slides. We do not want to have infinite scrolling. We want to do slides and this, this is how you can do it. So in our case, if we go back to the beginning, we cannot scroll. So my mouse doesn't work when I try to use the, the wheel. What I have to do, I have to press, I'll just move myself a bit there. So there are buttons here and this button represents the whole timeline of the sway. If you go back, so there are two navigational buttons here and what happens is that you have slides that are very interactive and very nice. Let's just see how it all plays out. I really like slides, but I think that sometimes the, the web page scrolling could work better in some situations, but what does, what, but slides, they obviously have this very interactive element and they appear very nicely. So I will go back to my default mode. That was a vertical scrolling. And now I go to going, I'm going to press the edit button and that's how we go into the, the underneath this way. So that's how it's made. Basically sway is the collection of boxes of information and you can easily move them around. You can change one box without affecting anything else. So here we have a title of this way and I have a picture that doesn't go with the title. It goes with this text. You have other pictures there, the title of the section, and that is how it goes. You create sway by creating different building blocks that you put together in a meaningful way. For example, if I want to, after this part, after the introduction, let's say, I want to create a new section. I click heading one and I will say, hello, just for fun. And then I can click on more content and explore what kind of things could be there. And let's say I want to create, I want to insert an image there. I image not from my computer, but from online. And let's say I want some something like called nature. Well, I like this river. I will click add and then I can close this part. You can click on the image. I can decide on the focus point. So what does focus point do when you display your web page on different devices. The sway will decide automatically which part of the picture to show. But let's say we want the entire image to be always visible. So we click on the focus point and also you can make it a bit larger on the screen or smaller depends on what you want. And then you, you can put some more text there, let's say for demonstration. And we also can emphasize the text. We can make it slightly larger. We can make it bigger on the screen. And it does have simple formatting, but it works. So let's see what we've done. Click play. It takes some time to update. And this part we didn't change. But that's part. That is the part we changed. We put hello. We have a picture there and we have a text. We go back. Click on that again and let's say we do it, we, we change from large to small. 
it will be just a regular text. And we emphasize it as well. So if we remove the emphasis, it will look regular. Now, that's how you can build your presentation. There is another thing that is called design. So this is our storyline. And there is another thing that is called design. If we click on the design, that's that's what, what you see currently on the screens is what I I came up with. But you may have a very different taste from me and you might want to experiment with layouts, with backgrounds. For instance, if you would like to have another style, you can just click on that style and it's going to be there and it looks like this. Or maybe we can try something like that or something like this. And then you can also customize the style, change the font uh, and do many other things with it. I would prefer to go to this one and let's say we, we, we try it out. So this could be another way on how you could display this way. And we still have the hello thing with for demonstration text. So that's how you can make it. I would go back, revert to my original way. I would then see if, let's say you want to delete a section, you can just delete it. You can also move things around, right? So if you, if you do it like that, you can move sections around, but let's say I want to delete it. And now we, we went back to where we started. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see more of your presentations that are done in Sway. Bye.